Tune Ups Engineering, I'm Alan. This is a two part video on reducing backlash in the cross slide by making a new cross slide nut. We take this phosphor bronze bar and make two nuts and have plenty left for a compound slide if needed. We'll also give you some more tips for the lathe. Now let's see how we do it. Just checking the backlash in the cross slide. I'll just hold that on there. It's about 17 thou, the backlash. This is the cross slide nut off the Boxford lathe. And as you can see, when it was first machined, they didn't set the casting central. This is the cross slide thread. You can see it looks like an acne thread, 2.5mm pitch and that gear is for the cross traverse. I've changed the, the screw thread, well, I will change the screw thread in the top here, from 516 BSF, I'm now doing it 8mm which is virtually the same size but metric. Um, I've got this phosphor bronze bar so I can get two out of this at least, maybe three. Right, so I finished that there, so I roughed the outside out just to get it running true, cut it off the main bar because it was it was too long sticking out there, I can't go any further in so I just roughed it out and then cut it off held it in the chuck, machined this down to fit the hole in the lathe which is 0.6875 I'm going to drill the hole in the end and tap it for a 8mm thread So that so far is the blank. I've got to put a quarter inch hole in the side here and a little pin goes in so as you tighten that down the pin is pushed out the side and that's what grips it into the, the cross slide. I've got to put a flat each side because at the moment this is too wide to fit into the cross slide. It's going to go in between this, this gap there and it's just a bit too wide. What I'm doing at the moment is just machining some off each face of the nut so it will fit in this slot. So what I've done is put it in a four jaw chuck, it's not critical. All I'm going to do is face two mil off the side, turn it round and face two mil off the other side and I've just put that spacer bar behind so I can get it square. Touch it on the bar. See it on the cross slide. Just checking the thickness of the the face. That's just over two mil. I've taken off that, so that should be okay. Space the bar in. Now it's got a flat on. You can f push that flat to the bar.
that's just to give me a start when I uh, put the hole in for the thread. What I need to find out now is how far it is from the face down to the centre line of the hole. So I'll put this in this small V-block on the surface plate. Let's put that up there. And with my height gauge, if I come to the top of that, the height gauge should level off the brass or the phosphor bronze bush. Zero it. Move over to the shaft, come down the shaft, and it's 0 0.190. The information I need to find out is the angle of the thread. It looks like an acne thread, but it's slightly different. Okay, I'm marking now the position down from the top of the hole. If you remember, we measured that earlier, it was uh, 4.075. So if I touch it on the top, zero it. And describe a line. And that line is the position of the hole from the face down. I centre punched the mark that we made from the face to the, to the centre of the hole. I've put the centre in there, supported it on the back so this is free to move. And now I'm just adjusting the jaws of the chuck to bring that centre punch mark to the centre of the chuck. So the way I do that is to pick on a, a, a pair of jaws get the reading at the jaw, rotate it 180 degrees, you can see that's virtually zero so I know the adjustment has got to be on the other jaw. Bring that back down, zero it, rotate that 180 degrees and you can see the difference in the reading. And tighten up the jaw so that it halves the distance. If I zero that there, that's this one. I'll keep it just in the jaws till they're it's running true. It's less than a thou. I'm using an overhead projector to project the image onto a wall. Uh, the small bar you can see is a reference bar so when I've got the image I can trace around it and that reference bar will give me an idea of how, how much the uh, projector has magnified it so I can refer the other sizes to that. This is a drawing which uh, shows some of the calculations I made. On the right you can see the tool form I used. This was a 3mm carbide bar with two 17 and a half degree angles on. By putting a piece of plastic here, this reflects the light and then you can see easier between the 
the edge of your square and the boring bar, what sort of gap you've got. This is important to get your square because it will affect the, the profile of your thread. Now with this profile, it's, it, it's a strange thread this is. It's not, it's not a metric and it's not an imperial, it's a cross between the two. It's 2.5 pitch and as far as I can work out the angles of each side are 17 and a half degrees. So that's what I've ground the, the tool to with a slight flat on the front. I've got to go in square to give the proper form. So the next job is to set up the gearing. I continue making the nut in part two.